What are nanozymes? Rotella and co-workers have come up with a way to target and kill cancer cells and prevent any growth of these cells. This is done through the use of their modified nanozymes, which are basically really tiny devices that are capable of delivering cancer treatment drugs to these tumor cells without disrupting any other metabolic processes, which means no side effects occur. So how exactly are these nanozymes made? Well, Rotella and co-workers developed a method to build these nanozymes by using a gold nanoparticle as the base and adding to the surface of the gold nanoparticle first a part which does not like water, which helps with trapping a catalyst, as you can see here in the black. Next, in the part in green, is the part that will like water, which helps with water solubility and not disrupting any other metabolic processes in the cell known as biocompatibility. They also developed a method in which they can control the catalytic activity of these nanozymes. They can either turn it on or off. Shown here in the gray oval is a molecule known as curbutyl 7, which acts as a caging molecule that turns off the catalytic activity through its big size, known as steric hindrance. This orange molecule shown here, ADA or otherwise known as 1-adamantyloamine, which would rather play around with CB7. So it takes it off of the nanozyme, in turn, turning on the catalytic activity once again. Shown on the screen is how exactly these nanozymes interact inside of the tumor cell. As you can see here, the nanozyme with the curbutyl 7 attached shows that the nanozyme's catalytic activity has been turned off. Here in this image, you see the ADA or the orange oval playing with the CB7 and taking it off of the nanozyme reactivating its catalytic activity turning it on so that it can convert the pro drug into the drug which is used for the treatment of these tumor cells. So what else can these nanozymes do? Well not only can they deliver pro drugs to these cancer cells but they can also deliver these molecules that are able to tag the cells allowing researchers to image and study these cells long term. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed the video.